ich sagen, aber laut dabei ist. inauguration of this uh, building because uh, to my knowledge this is the first time we inaugurate a European Union delegation in the presence of a Prime Minister and I think this is the best symbol of the friendship I would say even the family uh, kind of atmosphere that we have between Europeans and Lebanese and between the European Union and Lebanon so thank you for the honor you give us today And I would also uh, pay a special tribute to the, all the guests uh, that have joined us, ambassadors, members of parliament, especially the many ministers that are joining us today, and especially the women ministers that are joining us today. Uh, let me say that uh, uh, I believe Lebanon has a special touch in the Arab world when it comes to the role of women in society, in politics. Congratulations and all the best for a very difficult journey that comes ahead. Count on us to support and count on us to try and pass always the message uh, that uh, you're there not because you're a woman, you're there because uh, uh, you have the competences to be there. You have uh, probably more competences than uh, others if you manage to break all the uh, crystal ceilings and, uh, and get where you are. So. Um, count on us to accompany the work of this government, of all the institutions, all the Lebanese people, the society, um, even more than before. Um, we have um, a long history of friendship between Europeans and Lebanese that goes back to thousands of years. When I was uh, looking at the video, I was thinking friendship between uh, Europeans and Lebanese is not only 40 years old, uh, dates back to really thousands, literally thousands of years. Uh, but it is true that our institutional friendship uh, dates back to exactly 40 years ago. And uh, uh, there were difficult times uh, for Lebanon. Uh, we have been together uh, over these 40 uh, years uh, in uh, um, good and bad times. Uh, back then, uh, in 1979, uh, 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 we, at the aid of the civil war, the uh, staff working here in, in Beirut uh, was uh, just 13 people, one three, uh, a small and I imagine dedicated and courageous team uh, doing, I imagine, uh, mainly uh, humanitarian uh, aid. And today we are 100 people in this beautiful uh, building, uh, a little bit with a Danish touch, I have to say, which is good, <laughs> it's European. Um, and this, num this growth in numbers, I think, uh, uh, is also one of the best uh, images, the best, the simplest uh, message of how much our cooperation has grown, uh, how many more fields we cover today, uh, how many activities we run, uh, and how important it has become, uh, even more so today, uh, the work we do together, Lebanese and European staff, but most of all, uh, the staff of the European Union delegation together with each of you and together with every Lebanese uh, that uh, uh, with all diversities of societies of the society uh, that are our partners uh, in this uh, uh, wonderful journey. Um, so moving to the new building was also a necessity uh, because the family has grown so we have to move. Uh, so in this case, uh, I wish this uh, uh, will be our uh, headquarters for long, but who knows, maybe the family will grow even further and we will need to move even further. Uh, but I was looking, uh, preparing for this uh, inauguration uh, at the many fields uh, of our cooperation, uh, and uh, I'm really impressed by the uh, variety of things we do together. We are now supporting Lebanese companies, for instance, Go Green, making a better use of the country's natural resources and we have a beautiful country. Uh, so no limits there, uh, protecting the environment of this beautiful country and developing local economy in this sense. But clearly, our cooperation goes well beyond that. We're working together to build a Lebanon that is not only greener, but also safer. 
We cooperate with your police, with the Lebanese armed forces in a number of fields from border control to airport security and trainings and I'm happy to see some uh, militaries among us today. I think the work we do in the defense and security sector is key not only for the Lebanese security but also for the European security. Today we have regular political, economic and social dialogues. Our bilateral trade has increased steadily each year and investing more and more uh, in Lebanon is for us a priority. Last year at the CEDR conference we announced a package that could generate up to 1.5 billion euros in loans for Lebanon until 2020, which is next year, if accompanied by the agreed reforms. And I know uh, the new government is keen in advancing that agenda and I will be uh, spending the rest of the day with the Prime Minister discussing exactly how we move forward uh, on that side. And before the work we do with the institutions, be uh, not before, beyond the work we do with the institutions, with the government, let me say that the friendship and the relationship between people uh, in Europe and in Lebanon has increased. And this is for me really the, uh, the key element on which we measure uh, our, uh, the success of our partnership. There are mm, tens of uh, Lebanese uh, students studying in European universities, thanks to Erasmus+. Plus. And there are many Europeans, European students, who have the privilege to experience this great country. I have some doubts whether they're really studying or parting, but that's another story that is also learning. Uh, and I was personally, myself, an Erasmus student, and I only wish that at that time I could have uh, spent uh, my Erasmus time here in Lebanon. Now, European students have that opportunity, and I think it is very important we were discussing yesterday, coming back from the summit uh, between the EU and the League of Arab States uh, together with the Prime Minister, uh, how important it is that uh, Europeans understand um, our neighbours and the society, in particular the Arab one, and that the Arab societies understand uh, the Europeans um, better. Um, the people who work in this delegation uh, will tell you that Europe is uh, close to the people of Lebanon and uh, uh, working uh, on a daily basis with the Lebanese civil society. And it is a pride for us to support the Samir Kassid Award for Freedom of the Press or to work on gender equality and children's rights. I know that we share these values. I know we share the same aspirations. I've said several times Lebanon is probably the most European of the Arab countries. Uh, and being from Rome, I feel at home twice when I'm here. <laughs> Uh, as a Mediterranean, uh, as a friend of Lebanon, and obviously in this building uh, as, uh, uh, as a European. Um, I'm not here to uh, bother you with uh, policy statements. Uh, uh, again, we will have the chance to discuss this in, my, in, in our meetings. But I want to tell you, this is the fourth visit I pay to Beirut uh, in a uh, uh, few years, uh, three, four years. Uh, and uh, I still have eight months in my mandate. I wish this was not my last visit, so maybe more to come. Uh, but this is really a sign of uh, friendship, support that is there on the European Union side, on a personal level. And this has been possible first and foremost because our Lebanese friends have always been there for us. I know that the perception is always that we have to be there for you, but a friendship is always two ways. And the reason why we are here uh, always for you is that we feel that you are here always also for us and that this friendship has deep roots and I think a very bright future. So thank you very much and especially thank you very much Mr. Prime Minister. Thank you very much and I invite now uh, His Excellency Prime Minister Saad Hariri representing the President of the Republic. Thank you very much. Your Excellency, Ms. Federica Mogherini, Your Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, Christina, I'm pleased to be celebrating with you this inauguration of the new European delegation to Lebanon, European Union. It is also a pleasure to welcome Ms. Mogherini, a dear friend of Lebanon in Beirut. Ms. Mogherini, your presence with us today attests to the high importance that the European Union attaches to its relations with Lebanon. Lebanon, with its history, cultural, and religious diversity, and dynamic private sector, has throughout the years been the gateway of Europe to the Arab world 
and the gateway of the Arab world to Europe. The European Union has always supported Lebanon's sovereignty and independence and continues to be our partner in peace and stability and also our partner in development and prosperity for what we are extremely grateful. You know, this uh, building uh, is an important building for us and your presence as European Union is extremely important uh, because we share values that we uh, we, share, we share the same values, and these same values we would like to, you know, keep them in our country. Although, you know, you see all these changes in the region and the difficulties and the tensions and the confessionalism that we see around us. But the important thing is we stay on the path. And the path, I think, is the future for our children and our children's children in this country and in, and in Europe. So this cooperation means a lot to us, not only in building and spending money in here or exporting products from Europe or we exporting, but the important for me is the value that we hold and the principles that we hold together. And I think this is what makes Lebanon different from any other country in the Arab world, that we do believe in these values, we do believe in these principles, we do believe in equality and gender and in everything. Therefore, I congratulate you on this mission, on this building. Uh, and like you said, it is Danish style also. <laughs> you have to put your touch there. <laughs> but uh, thank you so much. And uh, I hope that we continue this relationship in a very prosperous way and, uh, and look beyond uh, dollar signs or euro signs because I think the values that we hold are priceless and uh, that's what matters in the end of the day. Thank you so much.